Republican Roy Blunt's U.S. Senate campaign will benefit from hundreds of thousands of dollars in contributions from lobbyists. And Democrat Robin Carnahan's campaign will benefit, too. In this week's commentary, Jason Rosenbaum looks at the restrictions on campaign contributions in Missouri and at the federal level, as well as the effect both systems have on elections. USA Today penned an article earlier this month chronicling the candidates and committees that scooped up the most money from those who advocate on the Hill. The Republican from Springfield took in over $300,000 from lobbyists, more than any other candidate running for office next year. And Missouri Democrats were quick to highlight what they saw as an ironclad link to the Washington establishment. But the entity taking in the most lobbyist cash clashed with the Democrats' story arc. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee took in roughly $731,800 from lobbyists. Those funds will almost certainly be expended to help U.S. Senate candidates such as Secretary of State Robin Carnahan. This entire episode showcases a weakness in efforts to restrict campaign contributions federally. While donors are only allowed to give certain amount of money to personal campaigns, they can give unlimited funds to outside groups, and often those entities end up behaving and operating similarly to candidate committees. The system is different for Missouri's elections. Candidate committees can take unlimited donations, but contributions that are over $5,000 must be reported within a short period of time. Some Democrats don't like the unlimited system because in their mind it provides the opportunity for a special interest to make huge donations to political candidates. And the current system still allows outside groups to receive unlimited contributions as a means to either conceal unseemly donations or attack candidates without being tied to a specific campaign. In many respects, it's unlikely that the Missouri plan of unlimited contributions will gravitate to the federal system, even if the Democratic-backed Congress somehow decided to pursue that route. It's highly unlikely the idea would find favor with President Barack Obama. But if America can bomb the moon and allow New Jersey to exist, is it really such a visionary concept to ask all candidates and political organizations to report donations within, say, 48 hours? If outside groups are going to blur campaign finance lines, that's one possible alteration that may make things a little more clear. I'm Jason Rosenbaum. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Talking Politics. For more political news, you can check out our new website at kbia.org. I'm Sarah Whitmire.